but I looked through mine and mine had a topless lady. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Rob Chesapeake Picker here, a part-time reseller on uh, eBay, Mercari, Facebook, Amazon, you name it, I'm probably there. So I got quite a bit of stuff here that is going to be going out today. I'm going to go ahead, blast through that, show you guys some stuff that's sold. Let's get to it. So I've had some decent luck with these, but these last couple kind of been banging around. It was this uh, RVCA hat. There's a lot of them out there. They do sell. This one wasn't in perfect condition, but it was still nice. I got it for three bucks, sold for 10 plus shipping. Next up, I got two more of these guys out, Lucy and Linus, little plush dolls. Uh, these sell for, I got a whole pallet of these things. When I picked them up, they've been selling strong, except for her, $15.99 plus shipping. And then I got another RCA, RVCA hat going out uh, as well. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So out of the garage sale I went to a few weeks ago, I got a bunch of Coca-Cola memorabilia and some other things that people passed over. Uh, one of these was this uh, vintage Micronata. Uh, it was a pen, like a watch pen. I couldn't test it. I didn't feel like buying a battery, so I listed it as untested, unworking parts, whatever. Um, again, I got a dollar into this. It sold for $24.99 with free shipping. Oh, Lucy doll here by herself. Don't see that one a lot, but this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. So recently with the increase in um, first class shipping, I raised the prices on these guys here. These, these Whitman coin collector books. Uh, this one here is a uh, Washington quarter book two um i had them for 350 plus shipping which really shipping was usually about 350 anyway and i went ahead i just changed them all to eight dollars with free shipping and they've started to move so again i've had them for a while they came out of the big train sale i bought you know tons and tons of them so eight bucks free ship i thought this one would sell a little faster but i've had this since the early days of my reselling journey here getting back into it so going on two years now I got this Denver Broncos uh, women's shirt. It was NFL apparel. It was new with the tags. Pretty nice shirt, but just kind of sitting. I think I spent like four bucks on it at a thrift store. I've been dropping the price on it. Um, it did sell for $12.99 with free shipping. So I got, you know, I profited, but I'm probably going to stay away from the women's sports stuff unless uh, I see something really crazy. This is kind of a cool, funky item here. I got, I found this book. It was uh, Where's Waldo? Nothing special, right? It's just a Where's Waldo. But I was looking up the sold comps, seeing if it was worthwhile. And there was one that sold pretty well for like 20 bucks. Um, and it had like a variation where there was a topless woman that was in it. They, I guess, left that in or snuck it in or whatever they did. But I looked through mine and mine had a topless lady. So I went ahead and I took it. I got it for a bucket Goodwill. Sold for $20 plus shipping. My wife was cleaning through the house a while back and decided to throw out a bunch of stuff. I've sold all of it, I think, except for this now. Is this June and Moon? Is this bath powder? Um, I, got, I, I think she got it as a giveaway at work when she worked at her old job. So we're talking a few years ago. But again, no expiration date on it or anything. I had it for 12, 12, $12.75 free shipping. I was able to go out first class. So it was over $5 to ship it out. But again, I didn't spend a dime on it. So. Been making lots of records and stuff like that, um, grouping them up by artists and things, or type the old country ones and gospel ones and stuff that I had. There were some that I just donated because they weren't worth anything. But I did have uh, four Glenn Campbell albums. I don't really have much into these. Most I bought a while back, and a couple I got from my buddy at work. Um, so I don't know. Let's just say I got two bucks into these at this point. They sold for $10 plus shipping. So to try to get rid of some of these guys, these Lucy dolls here, because I had like 200 of them, I decided to make separate lots of them. So I got one of five, one of 10. Um, I sold a lot of 10 of these, or five of these guys. I sold them for $19.99 with uh, free shipping, and they go just over a pound. So if it goes to that, you know, farthest away, like California, whatever, I might lose some money, but that's fine. Like I said, I got tons of them. This one costs like eight bucks to ship. 
out of that same buy, I had the little Snoopy plush dolls that were like the little hiker. I said in a past video that I put Cub Scouts in the title to see if people would get them for like giveaways for the kids. Um, somebody had messaged me seeing how many I had and if I do a bulk deal on them. So I counted them up. I had 128 of them. Um, they asked me for a price and I said, how about $225 with free shipping? They weren't, they were in New York, so it wasn't too bad. Um, the shipping on it came to like 20 bucks. It was a nice big box, but that's what's great about UPS or FedEx. You get pretty good prices on that. And it was under the 24 inches, which you start to get um, up there. It was like 22 by 22 by 23 or something. So 20 bucks to ship, 225 out. And I made more on just that deal than I made than I spent on all of them. So I'd been in a, in the profit for quite a while on these plush dolls because I spent like 175 bucks or something on them a while back. And uh, yeah, so there we go. In that last video, um, I told you guys about all the DVDs that I bought. I've been working through listing those. I've got a couple hundred up already, and I've barely scratched the surface. I'm clearly not going to go through every DVD that sells with you guys because it's boring, but I am going to highlight some of the more expensive ones just so if you see them out and about, keep an eye on them. Now, the one thing to keep an eye out for is old movies. Old movies do sell well because they were all released on DVD, they weren't released on Blu-ray for the most part, and a lot of times they're not available on streaming services. So really for the most part, if I, with these movies, if I can sell them for $7.99 free shipping or better, they're worth listing on their own. If anything less than that, for the most part, unless it's a sure seller, like 100% seller, but still low, I'm going to lot them up. So I am going to be making lots of like some action movies, some comic book movies, some romantic comedies, things like that, or grouping them up by um, stars. So like Tom Hanks or Robin Williams or Clint Eastwood. So I'm going to be doing that. But the one I got going out here, it was uh, Modern Problems with Chevy Chase. This one sold for $19.99 with free shipping. And these are not new, not sealed DVDs. This one was new and sealed. It was a Ernest triple feature. Remember, I don't know, you guys are probably too young to remember Ernest. Uh, I was never a big fan of the movies, but I do remember them coming out. Um, $35 free uh, plus shipping on this. So $35 bucks for three old Ernest movies. I'll take it. I'm going to spend, I think I'm going to spend $400. I haven't decided, I hadn't told him how much I was going to give him on everything. On the last lot of DVDs, I think his cut and stuff like that before I just kind of like bought him out came to like uh, about 450 bucks. So I think I'm just going to give him 400. We're going to call it a day. I got like a 800 to a thousand movies for that. And if you think that that's too much money to spend, just wait until I tell you about some of the ones that sell. So these next uh, five movies all went to the same person uh, global shipping program. So we got Halloween Town one through four. So it's actually six, uh, but it was a double disc. If it's Tuesday, this must be Belgium and no deposit, no return. The three of these lots together all sold for $69.99 plus shipping. So just on that and about the four or five that I haven't told you guys about because they're low money makers, I'm over a hundred bucks. I think it was in my last video, I told you guys about those uh, work right pants, or like firefighter pants that I picked up for $5.79 a piece. I got eight pairs of them. I was selling them for $29.99 plus shipping. I had somebody send me a message, ask how many I had. I told them, you know, it was in the listing anyway, but they wanted to buy them all. So they offered me $22 plus shipping for them. And I went ahead and took it. So, I mean, again, I spent just under six dollars a piece so six times seven is 42 the total on this came to 154 dollars plus shipping and off the other one that i sold for 30 i'm at 184 dollars um off of off of that money there so just done about 50 bucks i spent on these things so not too bad and they are all gone so if i see those again i'm gonna pick them up I'd sold these before I'd come across them. It was the God's Not Dead uh, series. I think I sold one and two, and this was number one and two, and then another movie called Do You Believe by the same creators. So I just went ahead and lotted it up. Lotted it, up. it sold for $15 free ship. This other movie here is a Fantastic Voyage from 1966. This one sold for $25 free shipping. 
Got another one of these guys going out. This is uh, just Lioness now. $10 plus shipping on eBay. All right, two more sales, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up here. So I got these from a friend at work. This is some military stuff that I was selling for her. This was a, uh, what was this? Desert Locust goggles. So little goggle set here. There's a, like two or three different pairs in it. I got really nothing into this. I bought her out on the stuff that was, she didn't want to keep waiting for the consignment. So I just kind of gave her a few dollars for everything that I had left over. Um, these sold for $19.99 with free shipping and they were able to stay first class. And then, I don't know if you can still see it back here. I have not gotten through all of these clubs, but I spent like, I don't know, like $15 on this set of clubs here. There was a whole bunch of stuff in here. It was probably like a set and a half of all mixed match stuff. Uh, two of the clubs, I believe they came out of that set. Um, they were Affinity HT2 clubs. This was a driver and a three wood. So not a big brand, but there's also not a lot out there. So it was like a 100% sell through rate, but only like a couple of them. So I figured what the heck, I was thinking about selling them separately, but I decided to go ahead and lot them up. I had them for 50 bucks plus shipping. A guy messaged me, asked me if I take 45. I said, sure. So $45 plus shipping. Again, I've tripled my money and I haven't sold any, I haven't, that's without any of those other clubs out of there. All right guys, thanks for checking it out. Appreciate it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you guys next time.